Oh, great. An error. <laughs> Why would it just download updates like it's supposed to? Tough. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Now, what the problem here is that the... Does this even have Service Pack 1? How old is this? It does have Service Pack 1. Okay, so I think the problem is that the update service, whatever it's called, is it's too old. So that's fine. We'll get it. Get a new one. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Windows 7. And this is what we need. The new, that's what's called the Windows Update Agent. We need this new Windows Update Agent. Okay, centralize away to Windows Update. I don't know why that furnace is running so much. It's not even that cold out today. It's only the 40 degrees. Okay. Of course, let's reboot. I like how quickly it goes through the BIOS. Okay, I'm done with that. Why is there the yellow triangle? Okay, it's gone. Okay, there's the updates, so we'll get these installing. We have all of these. Don't see the one for the dreaded edge in there, so that's good. Unless they call it an important one now. I don't see that there. Okay. Let's get those going. Sign our lives away to the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool, 64-bit. The biggest batch of Windows updates has completed. Looks like we have some more drivers now. The display is the correct resolution. Let's see if we can get the arrow. We can't get the arrow, so we have a graphics card driver now. So, at this point, let's go... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Go to the Google, and we go with the stupid keyboard again. And we're going to download the Lenovo system update. go okay we haven't done enough updates Okay, this computer is good as far as the software is concerned. Quite powerful. Very happy with that. So now let's get it hung on the wall. The screws are in the wall, they're just out of the frame. You know, it's really hard to use the tripod in this room because there's so much stuff everywhere it doesn't it doesn't fit. Anyways, let's see if this will hang here. Nope. It's got to go lower. For two reasons. Number one, the power button would be hidden behind this bar, and then number two is there's a screw or something that's 
keeping it from going in. Okay, I've readjusted the screws. Let's try again. There we go. That's pretty good. It's totally not straight. There's a slight misalignment with the screws, but it's going to have to do. It's good enough. All right, so now I'll get everything plugged in and see if it works. There it is, the computer's in place. One of the things I always thought was really stupid about this model is that there's no audio ports on the back, only on the front. And it doesn't really matter in this use case, but in a lot of cases where it's sitting on a table, that's so dumb to have to have a cord coming out the front. Anyways, let's turn it on and hope everything works. Okay, it seems to be working. 